Good domination from uh, Team Spirit. And now they're back with their Terror Blade again. Uh, but this time Team Spirit have the Terror Blade for themselves. Team Empire decide to go a little bit old school with the Spirit Breaker Life Stealer. We'll see how well that works. Spirit Breaker didn't exactly work out for them in the last game, but they are deciding to go with it again this round. So we shall see how well this plays out for them. Could be problems. Five seconds remaining. But uh, Temple Assassin has been banned out now, and uh, the previous, I think the previous game, the main drawback of the, the Empire team was that they were not able to shut down TA and her refraction charges. They had no damage over time, they could reliably count on, so it was very difficult for them to actually kill off the PA, uh, TA, and as a result, allowing her to get to those phenomenally huge uh, levels and farm. Alright, let's look at the heroes band out here. So pretty normal stuff. OD, Bat Rider, Templar, uh Baden, and a Trent. So the defensive stuff that uh Team Spirit is used to having. It's not gonna be available to them. We're gonna have a disruptor. Pretty standard stuff. And uh some good team fight coming out here already from Empire. But it is a position for Spirit Breaker, so there is still options to go for, say, a Dark Seer on that off lane for the combo disruptor as well. Always nice to have. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Waiting for the waiting for the third pick here from Team Spirit. What do they decide to pick here? They have got that TB already, so all you need now are the early game tempo heroes to either help him win his lane really hard or make the enemy heroes move away from your Terror Blade's lane so that he gets to farm in this cozy bubble until he reaches that spot where he no longer needs any help and uh, just beats everyone up. So it looks like it's going to be Earth Spirit again. The heroes are not really alter uh, not really going to be deferring as much as I thought it would, but... uh. Right now, Team Empire, they are looking... I feel like over these two games, even though they did win game one, they felt like the weaker team mechanically. So I think Team Spirit will take this if uh, Team Empire continue playing at the same standard they've been playing so far. Darks. It's going to be Darks here, there you go. The drafts are just... Yeah, these drafts are just... I would say a predictable and uh, Team Spirit has got that fourth pick coming in a uh, mid laner that'll be good here ha! Puck yeah yeah there you go a little bit too slow Radiant but uh, Puck is great you know dodging Spirit Breaker slams is the one thing uh, I don't remember if Glimpse can be dodged with a face shift but I do like to think so the Puck Coil, of course, is going to be very powerful at locking down those targets that want that mobility, want that... Want, yeah, I just really want that mobility. I think the Coil very strong, dandy. Uh, if you watched the games yesterday, actually played a really solid game of uh, Puck yesterday. Team Empire now looking towards that last band. They're going to look to single out offlaners that don't want to face, of course. So what comes to mind, Magnus is a problem. I think Magnus could be a big problem for them. I think it should ban his region. Yeah, so it will not be... Not be Death Prophet. Alright, so they, they ban out the Death Prophet. Ban out the Death Prophet. Team Spread. The last ban on them. What's good against Puck though? I can't really remember. Maybe Razor. But that's not that's not that hero's not meta. So I shouldn't even have said it. Alright, here comes the last bang coming up from Team Sprint. They have a minute twenty seconds to decide. Still really deliberating on this. That's gonna be Ever Spirit, and they go for the Nature's Prophet again. Very interesting. 
It's very interesting. So F that potential roam. Add on that hero to the tower. Alright, here you go. Nature's Prophet. Ten seconds. What's gonna be the response here from Team Empire though? They pick up Spirit they pick a Spirit Breaker Five into a to an event like this. It's uh it's gonna be Reserve it's gonna be dangerous. Attack. Team Spirit really gotta not take their opponents lightly. Flukes happen. Ten seconds Flukes can me. send you home. Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit. There you go. The standard life stealer Storm Spirit against the Nature's Prophet. The only problem now is can he win his lane? Because these heroes on his side are not ideal for ganking. Give or take. Uh on the other hand, you have another spirit that we're rolling into his lane any every other second. We also have uh, Puck being annoying already. They have the Prophet potential follow up as well, pre six. So a lot of threats here for the mid storm spirit that he'll have to circumvent if he wants to be successful in this game. Right, gotta wait for the heroes to be loaded in, and then we are going to jump right into the match now. <clears throat> going to go in game. There you go. Team Tower Showdown. Do, 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 do. Alright. And now for the final game of tonight, we have uh, Team Empire on the Dire side, or rather Radiant side again. Ghostic gonna play Dark Seal. We have Spirit Breaker played by Maposhka. Empire's FN on the Storm Spirit with King R on the Disruptor. And we got uh, Chappie playing Life Stealer, so another hero for him. Uh, Spirit gonna have FNG playing Earth Spirit. Warlock played by Vanscore. Puck played by uh, Ice. I want to say Ice Frog. Iceberg. And uh, Nature's Prophet. Played by DK Phobos. Last but not least, we have to carry BZZ himself on the Terror Blade. Okay. Faking TPs, uh, faking Observer Ward, Sentry Ward gets plopped down for no reason. Thirty seconds to battle. All right. Team Spread. Waiting for the match to start, no real contest, no real hokey, you can almost say. Gonna be happening here. Alright, here we go. Last game of tonight, uh, we all have Spirit vs Empire, winner goes forward, loser drops to the lower bracket. Because this uh, is gonna be heavily contested. Really can't afford to have that many teams, but that team's that high up, so we're gonna have to play this one out an old fashioned way. Poor Spirit Breaker needs the levels. I like this already. Disruptor hanging back, <clears throat> hanging behind the enemy, uh, enemy tower, looking to snipe a courier when he can. Gonna be very interesting to see if he can do it though. Still gonna be a while before the pup picks up bottle money. No, no. So it's gonna be. It's a little bit early to camp here. Yeah, I think so. And King R merely peeling back already. Life Stealer does decent against Nature's Prophet, so I don't think he really needs to be there. Unless he wants to kill. Alright, now Vance Call. Go stick. Oh, the roll in here, going on to the Storm Spirit now, getting caught out. There is the stun, there is the charge though. It finds the FNG. Oh, it finds the FNG Earth Spirit. Doesn't get enough. There's the Orb of Venom. It does claim the Earth Spirit there. But Iceberg does get the first blood instead with the orbs flying across, dodging that melee attack there with the jaunt. And in the end, could be back in the lane there. Storm Spirit not getting that mid lane EXP. Definitely gonna hurt him. But, uh... Damage is real, FNG. Here you go. 
pop the iron shell. Oh, rolling in. King R in a lot of trouble. Gonna get surrounded here. Oh, even the creeps giving a help out here. And FNG again. Making things happen here for his team. Team spread 1 and 2 now. Head on the board. Pick up the bounty rune. Spirit Breaker has that going for him. And that's bad. Dropping low here. But shrines up. Should be fine. Uh, now BZZ taking time to farm up top. CS is favoring him, but only a small margin. Die is like farming up pretty well. Chappy. Only two points in the feast. Skipping all the other skills for now. Oh, Iceberg getting a. Wow, getting killed there by a Spirit Breaker. But now another roll in here from FNG means that there's Spirit Breaker not long for this world, probably. Gonna have that upheaval, slow him down. And uh, yeah, they will not kick him away. It's gonna be a rock once again. Gonna land in. Oh, jaunt in. You gotta find that spirit breaker. Get up if you can. Meanwhile, in shell. Gonna mess around the TP. He does have metamorphosis though, so you don't wanna mess with him. Gonna do some damage to him. FNG. Chappy. Not top CS this game. Sitting at 12 and 1. Pretty sad start here. After team spirit. Just constantly shutting him down. Despite all that, TB still ahead of uh, the CS charts. 23 now. He has the storm spirit. At 23 as well. So, overall, a pretty even early game. Net worth slightly favors the uh, Team Spirit team. They are 1,000 up. Alright. Got a stick. Look for a wrap around here. The Iron Shell Spirit Breaker. A nasty combo to have to deal with. Van Score gonna walk right between the two bruises here. Yeah? He's gonna pop the heal. He's gonna try and get out of there alive. I don't think he will be dying here. It's too much heal, it's too much damage, but maybe they go for it anyway. They're charging in, but they immediately dump, uh, they immediately peace out of there. The Earth Spirit was looking for a pick here, but in the end, I think it will be the Spirit Breaker that gets caught. But no, he has a charge, and he charges away. Alright, here we go, Chappy. Then at 22 last hits, gonna start climbing back upwards. The rest seems to have stagnated a little bit. So he could actually try it and win that for uh, yourself. But now, Vansko, gonna face check this area. It's his area after all, but still really dangerous. Here we go. Looking to tier, push this tier 1. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And uh, the Tio and Tower is going to get pummeled here. Go stick. Pai and Boschka. It's going to help a little bit. Alright. Easy, easy. On that top lane. What's the timer now? It's only 6 minutes. Can't really hop over the net worth right now. But uh, a lot of the heroes are just going to play defensive. Pause positioning. Not really overextending for anything. And uh, keeping things real. 2-3 to three now is the kill score. Yeah. DK Phobos doing his best to match and harass that terribly. Kill stick, can iron shell wave and pull it over for himself. But right now, the veil is complete here for Iceberg, so it's gonna have a lot of magical bursts. As per the plan, it really has to be that frontline nuker, take out those folks in the background, soften a few, and then clean them up. Uh, 
Puck. He's got that veil. Oh no. Getting the kill on the vent score. Finally, they get him. But uh, this could be a kill as well the other way. Really deeping away. He does get away in time. What a madman. Spirit Breaker. Piecing out in time. They do kill only a disruptor though, so. Gold stick. Let's see what he has. FN. Looking through some replays. And uh, DK Phobos. Has been making quite a life for himself here. 32 and 9. See, go stick. Having to re resort to the jungle, get some farm on the board. Just makes it really tough. Uh, you can really see how tough this is. There's the coil here. Team Spirit not gonna let this one rest. The orb is gonna fly out. Go stick loses his life. He's gonna try and charge in, but it's not gonna be helpful here. Look at this go graph. It's gonna dip back down. Tier one tower top. Gonna fall. No glyph available. So that's gonna be a freebie. Going the way of Team. Spread again. Let's look for bright sides, bright sides. Oh no, the kick, the veil. Gonna be so much damage and the silence as well. Is it gonna be enough? Is he gonna have enough? Oh, one more orb will do the job, but in the end, it's only gonna be a tag, not gonna be a kill. Very fortunate the Storm Spirit were allies. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Alright, go stick. Let's go. Still doesn't have boots money. Has been laced though, but that's a sad warlock. Unable to flash farm. Unable to jungle. Very difficult. Right now, BZZ. Gonna start racking up those poisonous shots. Sitting at the top of net worth now is Puck with 4.4k. Got Storm Sprint in a second. 4,000. So, at the very least, the mid players are actually doing their jobs. I'll look and see if there's uh, rotation by FNG. We'll actually find a pick here. Creep Fanning Pull. Life Stealer is not the, comp not the hero you want. Maybe King R would have been a better choice, but they don't do that. So, in the end. They do not even get a kill. Spirit Breaker gets coiled up right in the nick of time there. 17% though, has to be careful. One more hit will do the job, but the Wrath of Nature secures that right before. We have to see <laughs> We have to see if there was going to be another 17%. But uh, rather not take the risk, gets that Wrath out there and snipes the Spirit Breaker. A hero roll. Gonna land there on the Storm Spirit. He's jumping in there, the Terror Blade is going in. But Storm Spirit already forced to back off. TB does pop the Metamorphosis, so maybe it's time to take a tower here. Tier 1's get closed up. Yep, it's gonna uh, change it into Meta form. And look to push some bases. Still a little bit early for him to get some Dragon Blades though. Alright, BZZ. Got to look to slam this tower down. Warlock just hiding there, scared as hell. And uh, the golem, just trying to farm that golem up. Farm that level up anyway. Life stealer being a little bit too good to be true, bait wise. BZZ. Middle lane, meanwhile. Storm Spirit is 1 on 1. The puck is 3 1. So the puck is a lot higher level. As far as, uh. Get you a lot of trouble. Let me Poshka. Just hang around here, very happy, just getting passive EXP. Oh, I hear a Storm Spirit jumping in there, looking for the uh, Spirit. He has been causing them a little bit of grief there. And the last game. So. I'm gonna pick him off. I haven't do anything just yet. Just gonna be farming up. 5,500 net worth on that puck. 
Looking scary here. Not even at the 420. Only level 10 so far. I hear a coil. Uh oh. Spirit Breaker. Unable to charge away in time as well. Nice silence. Gonna keep that one real. Stun him. Now the right click as well. Iceberg. Mm. Odd way to go out, but nonetheless. Still picked up there by Pycat. Very well done. Alright, here we go. Iceberg. Puck. Still doesn't have his blink dagger. Tech to a Midas and a Veil first. So, can't really blame him. Don't spread. Chappy. Chappy. Terribly, there's a pretty high win rate at the KF Major. And that's, uh, that's something that uh, could be said as a warning, so to speak. But right now, it's PA is on the street. Right now, haha. Ha. FNG. Gonna try and farm up the blood. At least the blood thorn, probably. Or the orchid. Dyer's top tower is under attack. That's the kinetic feel. Just to make sure there are no cover gay songs. Tower goes down to Chappie. So that's something nice for the Radiant. Thanks, uh, BZZ. So I'll look for that middle push now. Storm spread still hiding around here, FN. Very poor in terms of items, but that's $2,300 in the bank. So he could technically tech to something else. Maybe a Lincoln's, maybe a Hex. And right now, it's none. Raiden structures have fortified. They're scouting out for any maybe potential back lane glares. They have a lot of heroes around here. Gotta be uh, gotta be really careful. Cause this is for you uh, when you take an objective. But right now, Storm Spirit jumping in there, gonna get silenced again by the Magnetize. We're all jumping in all around the place there. Keep track of that fight. The Warlock disappears. Someone's stuck in the middle there as well, Puck. On Puck. So be careful, littering. Is uh is something that's not forgiven. And now go stick. Only one that uh Anyone that follows it but right now. A tip. Empire is gonna pop that shrine. Get the triple man healing going. Six and seven now. Poshka, Spirit Breaker. That's minimal. Only five and a half, not even six. Storm Spirit now though, at level 13, has the level 2 Ball Lightning available. Here, a charge going out. Again, going in there, oh, jumping in, finding a target. That Prophet just happened to walk right into his arms. The Silence going out though, the kick's a little bit off the mark. But a nice little Sprout there will do absolutely nothing. And now I think Earth Spirit might have just bitten off more than he can chew. Throws out the Silence, is it enough? There we go. Iceberg. Now it's gonna shrine up. Get some regen on the board. Chappy. Six on seven, so still trailing pretty far behind the, en the enemy team. A prize. Terribly, it's still at the top there. Dragon Lance and Yasha available now. It's got some good attack speed, good stats, and of course the attack range in meta. Iceberg. Oh, meanwhile. Mass TP is going on here. The Radiant are ready with the Storm Bomb. They're going to look for a big team fight. That could be coming anytime soon. An Arcane Rune will be perfect as well. Not sure if he will find it though. Not Doesn't look like he's walking the right way. 
But now this arcane rune will be snagged up by iceberg of all people. It's gonna be a little bit more rough. Is there an orchid here? Nope, there's no orchid. Iceberg. They're gonna see iceberg here. And Fan goes right in there. Oh, they meet a juke out here from that pup. Slow reactions there. Unable to get their kill. That's a really hard one to get, of course. Charging again. Food charging. Six and seven now. Team Empire versus Team Team Spirit. I don't know why I keep wanting to call them secret. Right now. Spirit Breaker. Not really pulling his weight. Two and four. He has got some good ones. But not everywhere. Uh, Coil comes out. Okay. In trouble. Spirit Breaker. Immediately TP out, but he gets brought down there in the fountain. Storm Spirit is not about to let up. He brings down the Earth Spirit, and that's the Storm Spirit contribution right there. The silence completely airballing, but the vacuum fixes that problem. Brings the puck in, brings the profit in, and suddenly Team Spirit losing heroes left, right, center. Ghost Stick will fall. Crappy though is in trouble. They are gonna zap, pull, zap, pull, zap, pull. Swap that Sunder out. Oh no, FN. He's gonna juke that one, and in the end, they might actually get that kill. Yeah, he will. King R killing off the singular one. Oh, the hell see. Alright. There we go. FNQ. Bloodstone on him. Now up at 16 charges. The respawn timer is going to be very short here. Are. Doesn't have ulti just yet. 20 seconds on that. Oh, they're gonna charge in now. Look for FNG. They glimpse him back as well. They stun him first with that charge of darkness and then the greater bash. And there you go. Like easy, easy setup here. Isolate, pick, and then kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. King R. King or look for him. Illusion. Illusion. Disrupt us. It's hanging the back lines. Looking for that big team fight ultimate. Let's turn that fight around. For you guys just tuning in, it is one one apiece. Team Empire versus Team Spirit. Both of them equalizing in convincing fashion. Now we're going to detect rolls. We'll see if any of these guys have weird items. Empire. So staying on your butt, really not moving. Not really moving for a gank or anything. The net worth about to hit zero now. I'll we'll get the coil out, but the coil is going to completely airball. The kick comes out and zip away to the south a little bit. Not gonna be able to find you. We'll try. Oh no, going in. Once again, they have spotted out the Storm Spirit. The silence is there. But he has respawned right away there with the 16 Bloodstone charges. There'll be a quick respawn. Puck goes down from Team Spirit. And now the Prophet does he go down? DK Fobos just putting a lot of damage here. The Life Stealer topples. The Puck still staying alive. And now Terra Play just shoots people down. With his Sunder combination, 14 to 13 now. Disruptor goes down. TB as well, running for the hills. Are they going to give chase? That's the question. Empire. Power dreads. Storm spread. But real careful what he buys. Alright, Storm Spirit. Don't need to waste that Orchid now. But like I said, you know, when you, you slow it down to get the... Top tower is under attack. The Lash is in. It's going to be hard. Find that time for other things. Right now, Miposhka. It's 
got the Earned Shadows, 1,200. Oh, GPM talent for Disruptor. It's going to have some good money rolling in. But this game is just super slow right now. You look at the kills. Most of these are towers. And, uh, yeah, both teams not wanting to give us a... Not want to give us a bloodbath, but rather have them play simple. But of course, you know, when you're so close to going up higher, you want to do your best. It just habits. Spirit jumps in, takes the tower with the... Yeah. With the units, and now Chappie. Went just away on that ancient creep. Hopefully he's doing the right thing. Endurance run. Spirit Breaker heading up top there. Just trying to maximize the farm. Throw her again. Jumping forward. A nice bird. Clears out the creep wave. Gets more money on the board. Thinking about building an ill scepter. And, uh. Well. Right now. Radiance bottom tower. Under attack. 10 people fighting on it. Empire might decide to go for Roshan here. Yes, they do. They pop the Aegis. Can they sense it though? Double sentry wards. Can they sense it? Here we go. DK Fubbles. <laughs> That's the Roshan. Going down the Empire. And looks like Spirit's gonna have their work cut out for them because this is not gonna be an easy fight. Extra money, and more extra items. Poshka. Tier 2 Tower still stands for the Radiant, so Team Spirit are gonna blow it down. But with the help of Terrible, it shouldn't be too difficult. Should be elementary. Yeah. Life Stealer might steal it though. Oh, it's tonight, so that's uh, that's still map space given uh, what has happened. It's trying, very good stuff, but, uh, really can't offset a proper win. And, uh, this guy is waiting there in the back lines, warlock ready to drop the base. But there are no dire heroes here ready to capitalize on this, though. Right now, might have a little bit of trouble. Storm Spirit is looking for me. Duke's round. Let's find him. Chappy. Gotta, gotta push this tier 1 tower with his buddies. There's gonna be a charge here for our Spirit Breaker. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Right now, Siege Creeps. Pummeling away this tier 2 tower. Trian is there as well. Gotta really watch for this. Iceberg getting in the tower. And juking out of there in time, so. Well done. Life dealer. Has the bomb. Would like to grab a singular hero. I think F FN is going to be an ideal. Uh, Emperor King is going to be an ideal target here. He's gonna walk right into, walk right into him. Maybe find some way to pick him off. Here we go. That's spirit. Not doing as well as they hoped he would. 14, 13. I think the main stem comes from the, the change of the, oopsie daisy. Change of the game. Spirit, just take it slow. Their Terror Blade and the Prophet are right now at the top. So something to consider about double damage there onto FN. There's the charge going in. It's only on creeps. The real guy is right up here. 633. It's gonna be hard to spot out the original from the real. Alright, here we go. Coming forward, just clears out the creep wave, that's what the AoE is for. Oh, Eul Scepter, Team Spirit, that's why he do this kind of funny thing. 
could set up something funny though. Jumping forward. Taking a little bit of damage. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Alright. Probably not. There's gonna be a jump forward there. Looking for the infest bomb. Still waiting. Letting the ice the life stealer decide a little bit before popping out. But so far, so good. Oh, there's a jump forward. Nope, just gonna be farming ancients. And uh, nothing too crazy about it. I don't really want to waste too much time in a in a storm spirit. Waste a lot of your resources. All right. What's happening here? Roaming iceberg as well as FNG. Both frosty levers. There's the jump forward. Right. Letho. Going to gonna hit level level twenty soon, so need to read a book on about it, how to cope and stuff. And uh, here comes the pub. Yep, very nicely done. Earth spirit. That's cool right now with the glimmer cape. Try and keep himself alive, but all these fights really do punish the supports. They are just unable to do much as they are constantly getting sniped over and over. So right now it's really up to composition and luck to pull pull mouse bots into the light. 1430 now. 633. Diffusal, Dragon Lens, as well as the sad game. When was the last time we got a kill? Damn. This part, but I. It's 29 minutes in. At least some explanations. But FN, he is uh, going to build towards the. Or rather, collect the operator. And try and keep buffing it up. But right now, having one left, round one. Very interesting choice of the enemy characters. Yeah, I'm stomp straight. Almost half a BKBY. Stomp straight. Looking at you, stomp straight. Bloodstone, Orchid Malevolence. Building into that BKB that really wants to be unstoppable in the next two team fights. Iceberg. Dual Scepter. Double damage. Come on, guys. Kill something. Kill something. That isn't creeps or towers. Stalemates? I guess they count, but not as exciting. Huh? There you go, Warlock. Level 11. One more level to the magic number 12 for the second level in Ultimate. But right now, keep your links fresh. Not wanting to spook anyone. Nope. Alright. Top side is full of clowns. Set in stone. The FNG. Doing a lot to break the trees there. Keep my guy alright. Okay. Jumping forward, FN. Stomp spread. BKB up on him. Life stealer arm. Maybe they'll get a successful storm gank this time round. No hero has met each other for the past almost 90 or 11. Almost 11 games now. No pull. Here we go. Go stick. Excellent. Uh, excellent use of the charge there. Only a short distance. Should be able to land it in time. But uh, 
colors might be off. Alright, Evan. Stepping forward. It's tier 2 tower. Gonna collapse very shortly. And that's gonna be that. The Wrath of Nature tries to slow them down, but it's not gonna be enough. Alright. Moving forward from that. Team Spirit, what's their attack plan? Resting on each other's laurels is definitely not the plan to go. Poshka. Going to be able to... Yeah, gonna be able to do a lot of damage here. Looking, jumping forward. FN, can he get the first kill we have had in the last few minutes? Seize Prophet, maybe he wants to go for it. Arcane Rune. And especially now that Root disables Ball Lightning, it's no longer as awesome. I'm over here. Jumping forward, once again, going to be ganking the Ancients. And we get again no kills! No kills in this game, and as a caster, I am getting driven mad. Where are the kills here? Oh, now here we go. Then ask for it, and now FN pops that BKB, finds the Earth Spirit, and we're going for more. Warlock, you pesky son of a... Gets the kill there on the Warlock. No, he does not, actually. And now, getting turned around on is this... Uh, it's this Radiant Squad. They lose Warlock as well as Earth Spirit, but they immediately strike back with the BKB Terror Blade. They have the... Mask, uh, Mask of Death, DK Phobos, it's a really scary Lighten. Alright. There you go. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Alright. Terrible chunking away at the ancients. At least you got some kills, which was nice. Celebration. Alright, here you go, oh no, FN, look for a pick here, charge forward, and the jump forward as well, finding the earth spirit, a nice little leap over, not sure how they saw him though, but they do, and they do get that kill, meanwhile Lifestealer, doing things with Roshan, trying to kill him off, Solar Crest is there, so Roshan's gonna melt pretty fast, at the same time missing a lot of his hits. There you go. Charging. Roshan goes to the Radiant. 17 to 15. Probably want to invest in a travel, same as Lena. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Yep. There we go. Iceberg. It's gonna charge forward. Pass it to him. He had a hill. They are fighting. Meanwhile. Looking really frightened. Disruptor. Dropter is going to be able to do some work here. Just needs the right combo, needs the right timing with the darks here to pull off something spectacular. 17 to 15 now. Miposhka. Got that solo crest on him. Still jumping forward here, FN. It's really clearing the creep waves with impunity. Unfortunately for him, there are more Treants that be coming non stop. They just profit. Yeah. Storm Spirit, maybe they'll follow this trend of uh, keeping tabs on this. Right now, oh, jumping forward there, finding a nice little pick on the Nature's Prophet of all people. BKB is there, the vacuum, gonna find some big targets, the Warlock though, gonna have the ability to just juke away in time, that's going to be the advanced core, uh, the advanced core uh, Warlock down, 
but now we're taking so many casualties. There are a lot of golems, but they are only at 75% strength. And now the charge comes in. No time to even get that Sunder off. Four heroes dead. No buybacks on the dire side. Iceberg going to peel back in. He does actually jaunt, but he will not be able to uh, get caught there. Because he still has the jump to friend thing. And of course, he's the only lone survivor on this uh, on you know, in this game. So, really tank. There are lucky stars. Alright, what's next? Alright. Nothing else. But uh, we're going to be pushing for this base here. With Team Spirit down a Terra Blade, down a Aegis Prophet. It could be a problem for them. Melee Rex gonna fall, range Rex as well. And because the Rexes are open, we're going in there. Empire might actually look to close this game out once again by doing the impossible, or rather not doing the impossible, but doing the surprising thing of just waiting for their opponents to come to them. So many times the opponents just give you the freebie. BKB, pop it up. They're gonna bring down the puck right off the bat there. There's another vacuum, gonna pull them to the shrine. Kinetic field. All of them getting caught up. The buyback on Puck, they're very disciplined. They immediately P TP out the coil. Airballing there. So insult to injury. They all TP away. Save for maybe, maybe this guy, FN. But he does have that zip away. So in the end, no real kills were given. And uh, Iceberg, yep. Gotta have that rune regenerated in no time. So. Alright, here we go. Nice bug. Splink Yules. Got a lot of utility, but uh, not much in the way of raw HP power or armor. Here we go. Mingar. Disruptor. And now they're jumping in there once again. You're gonna pick off that nature's prophet. Picking it into a storm spirit was definitely not part of their plan. But uh, it was the storm spirit that did pick it on them. So now we're going for this tier 3 tower. We're gonna have to force the buyback on that nature's prophet. Does he go for the rat or does he go for the defense? <coughs> there we go. Taking it down to tier 3. It looks like Evil Market really wants to keep things together. Be very careful. Breaking the shrine. Yeah, down, down the tower goes, and uh, everyone becomes a race. Aegis timing out. Storm Sprit. Yeah, more time and space. Oh, here in charge. Nope, just going to be the aggressive charging, yeah? Just to get some farm on the board, get the creeps aggroed up. Standing there for a long time. Oh, here we go, mud golems. Throwing out the mud at them. Yeah. Going to be going to be looking forward to a big fight empire already taking that melee rex but you know if we know anything from between these two teams bases don't really matter because of how they always just outplay one another or make mistakes make it for easier for the other person to play there you go storm spread has a hex has a bloodthorn there's pretty stacked items you have to be real careful when you deal with her Another double damage. This TB is just on a roll. It's like time to take a fight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Terrible late. Alright. Well, there's a terrible late. The rest of us still sitting and watching. DD from the Elsa. King R, Agadems, Ghost Stick, and Abdul Mud. All just hanging around, waiting to act on their command of the core. 
now they're gonna bang away at the shrine. They realize that this is free money, free opening on the map that they haven't taken yet. So they're gonna do just that. Alright. Here we are. Haste room. You're gonna send back Prince Boston. He's chewing right now. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. This resolution. All gonna be surrounding here, but meanwhile, top up site on this dire base or in this dire base, the storm spread. Killing off the Prophet once again, but can you blame him? Lifestealer, still disrespecting whatever is being thrown at him. They're gonna go in with the Blood Thorn as a two shot, three shot, nice vacuum. That tools in two of them into the silence. There's another death here on Team Spirit. They buy back into the game with the Terror Blade, but that is just too much to deal with. A full team wipe, GG calls, comes out, and Team Spirit are going down uh, out of this best of three. Took 43 minutes of just standing around, but in the end, Team Empire managing to close up this game and uh, I still think that Team Spirit are more mechanically talented here but uh, Team Empire they just beat them with the right draft and you know there's some fine there's some things you just don't pick uh, terribly into and that's one terribly so Team Empire were kind of veering off from the normal uh, normal drafts but no, well not them Team Spirit were actually veering off a little bit of the normal strategies that they do in the end they get themselves punished but you know these things happen we'll see guys what happened uh, see you guys for what happens next in the future whatever but tonight I'm done uh, casting these games and I hope you guys have enjoyed we will be signing off for you guys follow Epicenter follow BTS follow me uh, if you like on social media Twitter Instagram for more updates and of course just because it's free. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Here's the scoreboard for you guys who want to check it out. Much love and kappa. Be nice to one another. See ya. Good night.